What's up guys, this is Crypto with James talking to you today about Kusama. Now, guys, Kusama's was a beast in the last bull cycle. It was an absolute titan. Um, and right now it looks hugely undervalued. The question is, is really how high can this go in the next bull cycle? Um, I'll make the argument for what you've seen in the title, but I do think there's a chance that this hits four figures and I'll explain why in this vid. Uh, before I get into it though, guys, uh, if you aren't, uh, if you've never been on this channel before, uh, this spreadsheet is the first 26 coins that I did videos about. Um, and in the videos on this channel, I said I was going to buy these cryptos up. I thought they were quality. Um, and you can see what the prices were of all these coins when I recorded the vids. You can see the highs that they hit uh, less than 18 months on. Um, and if you'd have put in, let's say, 10 bucks into each, that's $260 investment, your profit would have been 12 grand if you'd have sold 18 months on. If you'd put in 100 bucks into each, that would have been a $2,600 investment, your profit would have been 123 grand. If you'd have put in 1,000 bucks into each, obviously that's a $26,000 investment, it's quite high, but your profit would have been 1.23 million. Um, and you can see the gains in total. This is just based off of $100. Now, I sold these off um, and started buying up new cryptos since the market's been down. Um, I actually share all the cryptos that I own on copymycrypto.com. So this is a site that I run. We started with, uh, well, with no members, then we got a couple of hundred pretty fast, and it's just continued to grow. We now have nearly 3,000 members, um, and it's where I literally share the, all the coins that I'm in. Anytime I buy a crypto, I let the members know what the crypto is, uh, the gains I think it can have, percentage of my money I'm putting in. When I sell a crypto, I do the exact same thing. I tell the members what the coin is, what percentage I'm selling, what I'm doing with the money as well, uh, which is usually banking profits. Now, copymycrypto.com is where literally members join, copy along, no work required. If you don't have the time, or well, you didn't make the gains in the last bull cycle, go read the site. You can see what the members achieved in the last bull cycle. You can see what I've said historically. Everything on the site is public record as well, so you can verify it all. It's all on the history of this channel. Um, and if you didn't make the gains that we did, maybe this is something you want to consider, guys. So go take a look, pause the vid, um, because these gains, once they're gone, they're gone. Once this market gets regulated to hell, we're not going to see the 100Xs like we used to. Right, let's talk Kusama. Um, so Kusama has a circulating supply of 8.4 million. Nice and low. Um, All-time high was knocking around the sort of $600 region. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with what Kusama is, it's the wild cousin of Polkadot. That's how it's always described. Uh, and basically what it means is it's the experimental chain um, that's designed for massive interoperability. The whole premise is anything that they want to potentially launch on Polkadot is tested on Kusama. So Kusama ends up, um, if you're a Kusama user, you end up getting access to the more experimental protocols, the more uh, innovative ones, uh, and they're tested there prior to the arrival on Polkadot. Um, so by deploying on Kusama, fast price projects gain access to a highly scalable, interoperable sharded network uh, with features that are not yet available on Polkadot as well. Uh, that's why it's described as the Canary Network. Now, the platform's designed to, like I said, be a test bed for developers looking to innovate and deploy their own blockchain. Um, though many projects that can then move on to Polkadot do often stick with Kusama because Kusama's final product is still damn good. Uh, Kusama's benefits from a low barrier to entry for deploying uh, parachains, low bond requirements for validators, and is mostly uh, used by early startups for an experimentation. The founder of Kusama is Gavin Wood, the same, you know, Gavin Wood also founded Polkadot, he's also one of the co-founders of Ethereum. Um, you've got to remember that's a hell of a resume. Uh, it seems like those co-founders of Ethereum have gone on to do quite spectacular things. Look at Hoskinson as well. Um, so Kusama right now, you know, is only ever going to have nine odd million coins um, in total, 9.6 million. 
Uh, and recently what's happened as well, which is worth noting, is Polkadot and Kusama are now connected via the IBC, the Interblockchain Communication. So this is the standard of the Cosmos ecosystem. So thanks to this, and this, uh, this happened at the end of April, um, what this means is uh, they can now connect to each other via a nice, easy, seamless bridge. Um, as a result, what we should be able to see is some growth and some easy bridging of uh, Kusama-based Polkadot, oh, Kusama-based products onto Polkadot with relative ease. Um, so the team of Cosmos is obviously very excited about this because Cosmos is the one behind it. They are they're into blockchain communication protocol. It's starting to get used by everyone. Uh, make no mistake about it, Cosmos is going to be a beast as well uh, with more IBC connections to be released soon. But what it means is Polkadot's and Kusama can connect better. It means we're going to be able to see more interesting uh, products that land on both um, down the line. Um, now, the beauty of the parachains is obviously within Kusama is it means scalability is almost infinite. Like, you, you know, once you've got as many parachains as you want, you know, the throughput for uh, Kusama, throughput for Polkadot goes through the roof. It means there is never really a dependency on a centralized uh, place that processes all the transactions. Um, so parachains are going to be, uh, well, parachains have been going on for a while. They, they were pretty spectacular, to be fair. You know, when that happened in the last bull cycle, we saw these parachains just pop. So many of them popped like mad. Um, and why? Because everyone was so excited about um, Polkadot. Everyone was so excited by Kusama. Now, the question really becomes, is that excitement still around? Um, and I don't think to the level that it was previously, but it damn sure is still around. People are excited about uh, Polkadot, but just not to the level that they used to be. Um, and that's what happens. You know, hype leads to, you know, uber excitement for ages, and then it drops off a little bit. Uh, but the, what Kusama, what Polkadot have done in building... Uh, an ecosystem in such a short space of time is absolutely staggering. Um, this is now one of the, well, Kusa, both Kusama and Polkadot have the biggest ecosystems, or two of the biggest ecosystems around. Um, bear in mind, obviously, Ethereum's the king of that, Binance Smart Chain's probably the second biggest, or Chainlink. But, you know, again, Kusama, like, if we actually check the charts, how long has it been up and running? Launched in 2020, um, and we saw just exponential growth in terms of just the size of this bloody ecosystem. I mean, it's enormous now. Uh, and you've got really exciting DeFi projects on here. You've got really exciting small contract platform uh, projects on here. The Web3 Foundation has really helped in pushing. That's another thing founded by Gavin Wood. It's meant that we're seeing... Um, a lot of money that can be uh, delegated to interesting projects. So the Web3 Foundation grants has been enormous. Like that's that's provided a lot of crypto startups with huge, huge, huge um, capital to, to really push on. And as a result, Kusama and Polkadot benefit hugely from that because their ecosystem grows. Um, and again, another thing set up by... Uh, by Gavin Wood. Uh, Kusama and Polkadot also have these local meetups thing, so they're really growing the community outside of your standard social media platforms, which again is another thing I really like. The question really for Kusama is, look, does the, the hype train get, you know, does that get rolling again? Um, and right now, look, I can easily see Kusama getting back to 500 bucks really can that's a 20x that puts it a market cap of about 4.2 billion that is not outlandish for what kusama actually is and there has to be a realistic conversation about can this hit a thousand dollars because if it does its market cap is what 8 billion 8.4 billion probably by you know next 
peak and next bull cycle, you know, end of 2024, you're looking at 9.6 billion. Probably most of the coins, if not all the coins released. Is that insane? It really isn't. Given what Ethereum will hit in the next bull cycle, given what Polkadot will hit, given the growth that Kusama have had, given the growth that Polkadot's had, is $1,000 unreasonable? No, probably not. I, I think 1000 is very achievable, but just to be conservative and go, look, a lot of volume, there was a lot of resistance and a lot of key levels at that $500 mark. We saw it spike a few times and just that level held as resistance a lot. Um, so 500, I think, is close to certain. Close to certain. Um, a thousand should be doable, really should be, um, because again they'll grow. They'll get. There'll be more Web three foundation grants that result in more parachains landing on Kusama. You'll see more innovations coming out of Kusama. The only real risk is obviously the innovations and the experimental protocols that come out on Kusama. Do they? You know, if one goes wrong, does it damage Kusama? Um, which is possible. We've seen those kind of things happen before. You know, Yam, when Yam's experimental protocol came out, it dicked on everyone. Everyone got damaged by uh, Yam. And when it was involved. But Yam didn't exactly hurt Ethereum, right? But then we saw the cock up with uh, UST, uh, the stable coin on um, Terra. And when that went wrong, Terra's price got destroyed so the only real risk i think to kusama is if one of these experimental protocols goes wrong and potentially kusama's token uh gets damaged i think i still think that's highly unlikely because um as long as kusama isn't fixed into a sort of um a trade-off with anything that's potentially algorithmic she'll be fine uh, so 500 I look at and go, close to certain, I think, but not financial advice. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think this can do more? Do you think 1,000 is fair? Do you think 2,000 would be fair? Let me know in the comments uh, down below, guys. And if you're a returning viewer, by the way, hit the subscribe button. These videos are going to make you money. If you haven't actually got around to it, do it. Then you don't miss the vids. Um, and guys, look, if you want to copy along to my crypto investments, make the same profit I do without doing any work whatsoever, you can do. Just head over to copymycrypto.com and that site is where I run my membership. And all I do is every day I share with the members what I'm looking at. Um, anytime I buy a crypto, I let the members know what the crypto is, the gains. I think it will have the percentage of my money I'm putting in and they can copy along. They can make the same profits I do without any work whatsoever. And we've got thousands of members, lots of them have never invested in anything, but of, after the success in the last bull cycle, they've, they wanted to join. Um, and again, we had get coins that did 30x, 40x, 50x, 100x. Don't forget Phantom. Phantom was a crypto that I picked out as the best investment of 2020. There's a Udemy course still up there um, where I said it's going to 100x or more. And obviously it did 700x. You just need one of them. You could literally have every other coin in your portfolio die a death. The phantom. And just have one phantom and you'd be in profit. But then having all the other coins do really well as well. You're going to be in huge profit. Um, so if you didn't make the gains in the last bull cycle. Go read copymycrypto.com. You'll see what the members achieved. You'll see what I've said historically. Everything is verifiable because it's all on the... Uh, it's all public record, it's all on YouTube, and you can see if it's something you're interested in. Uh, and that's it for me, guys. Take it easy. Bye-bye.